Hi, I'm Devon, and I'm at Village Books, our independent bookstore here in Bellingham, Washington. I've selected a novel by Zora Neale Hurston titled, Their Eyes Were Watching God. Seeing the woman as she was made them remember the envy they had stored up from other times. So they chewed up the back parts of their minds and swallowed with relish. They made burning statements with questions and killing tools out of laughs. It was mass cruelty, a mood come alive. Words walking without masters, walking all together like harmony in a song. What's she doing coming back here in dem overalls? Can't she find no dress to put on? Where's that blue satin dress she left here in? Where all that money her husband took and died and left her? What that old 40-year-old woman doing with her hair swinging down her back like some young gal? Where she left that young lad of a boy she went off here with, thought she was going to marry? Where he left her? What he done with all her money? Betcha he off with some gal so young she ain't even got no hairs. Why she don't stay in her class? When she got to where they were, she turned her face on the bander log and spoke. They scrambled a noisy good evening and left their mouths set and open and their ears full of hope. Her speech was pleasant enough, but she kept walking straight on to her gate. The porch couldn't talk for looking. The men noticed her firm buttocks like she had grapefruits in her hip pockets, the great rope of black hair swinging to her waist and unraveling in the wind like a plume. Then her pugnacious breasts trying to bore holes in her shirt. They, the men, were saving with their mind what they lost with the eye. The women took the faded shirt and muddy overalls and laid them away for remembrance. It was a weapon against her strength, and if it turned out of no significance, still it was a hope that she might fall to their level some day. But nobody moved, nobody spoke, nobody even thought to swallow spit until after her gate slammed behind her.